Hey guys, Old Guy Gaming here, back in here with another MTG Arena video, and tonight we're going to be doing Selesnia Adventures, another cool deck that is making the rounds now that Oko's kind of cleared out the way. Some of the adventure decks and all the uh, different uh, iterations are making their rounds, and this one's actually pretty fun. I enjoy it. Builds up basically on some of the same themes, except we're kind of tied into the tying white into the green adventure builds and see what we can get out of it. So, um, mostly we're going to be looking for things. Let's get off, get, get it out of the way, right out of the way. We're going to be looking at Edgewall Innkeeper is really going to be the thing, because it's going to trigger multiple versions of adventures going off and then we're gonna have different adventures to go on to kind of help this along so we're looking at things like very guide mother for example which um target creature gets plus you know plus two plus one until end of turn and gains flying uh and then it is a one one flyer itself this is relatively cool when you consider that you can do that twice with the edge of keeper uh giant killer same thing kill a creature with power for toughness better and then whenever it comes into play you can just tap large creatures really like this card Pelt Collector is an interesting one because you're going to have a lot of creatures that are getting bigger and bigger all the time that are dying or coming off the board. And then we'll get into the, the Raptor that's going to help out in that later. Um, Shepherd of the Flock, again, return to our permanent control. If you're going to lose something, having that come back and you can mount not one but two. And it is a 3-1 as well. Watley's Raptor. Now, it's a 2-3 with Vigilance. And when it enters the battlefield, you proliferate. Now, that might not seem familiar because it came from War of the Spark. But you have creatures in here that are going to be gaining tokens, at least specifically the pelt collector and it's just going to keep getting bigger and bigger as each time this thing comes into play because you're going to bounce it back to your hand with shepherd of the flock recast it keep getting more counters it's going to be it's going to be fun and then of course what white what white uh, uh token ish deck a slice deck's not going to be fun with unbreakable formation creatures you grow control gain indestructible intent of turn and if you cast this during your main phase party plus one plus one on each one of those creatures and they gain vigilance into end of turn again going along with um the watley's raptor as well you also have Bloodstruck beak because it is a fantastic card um again you get to create two one one creatures whenever you do heart's desire and then you do need the one one creatures out there to allow it to attack um, Conclave Tribunal to kind of handle any, uh, problem cards that come into play. Venerated Roxodon, because why not? Because once you have all of these creatures into play, and you can tap all of them to put 1-1-1 counters on it, and then you have things like Watley's Rapper come into play to make it even better. Keep bouncing Watley's Rapper back. This is kind of where this deck goes. You just get all these big, large creatures, and then you finish it off with Unbreakable Formation. Um, Mana Base is relatively simple. Um, again, ability to create a whole bunch of creatures with Cat Castle Ardenville. Five planes, seven fours, temple gardens, and four fable passage because you really kind of want to thin the deck out. That's kind of where this one goes. So let's go play some games with it, shall we? We're only going to be playing ranked right now because we are into a new season and all the players that have worked their way into Mythics have filtered their way up and out of the lowly ranks where we are in silver and gold at the beginning of the season here. Um, if you do like the content though, let me know in the comments down below. Like, subscribe always helps out the channel. Fantastimus. That is an amazing name. Okay, all interesting, cool things. Wish had a little bit more of the mill here, but let's see how this goes. I am definitely thinking... Well, yeah, we're going to go Pout Collector first. I'm thinking planes into Castle Ardenvale so we can at least start generating creatures. And he paid for that so that he can shock it. Yep, and now we're going to be starting from a little bit behind. Uh, that's okay. Let's go with the Edgewell Innkeeper. Maybe he'll regret having done that. Or he's got another shock in play and he just doesn't care. Doesn't care. Cool. I guess we're going to attack with the Edgewell Innkeeper? <laughs> Why not? Interesting decisions. Brineborn Cutthroat. Cool. So this is going to be Is It Flash? I like it. We'll take the two there. He's waiting to do stuff on our turn. So let's go get ourselves another forest, shall we? There we go. 
Now, does he have the counter spells? Where do we want to go with this one? Because I'd really, because I'd really like to kill. Hmm. I'm gonna hold off on this one. I'm gonna wait until he gets that creature really, really big. I really, oh, I am so tempted, but I know he's got counter spells in there. I know he's got counter spells and he's got stuff to do on his turn. He's just going to let that fly. Interesting. I know he's going to counter it. That's what's so frustrating. I'd love to do... I would love to do it. Hmm... Hmm. What to do, what to do. It'll be nice to get the counter out of his hand. I just... Sure. Because he's just going to counter it just so Rhymeborn Cutthroat gets bigger. Yep. Nope. I know this deck very well. I feel like we have all the high-end stuff. Again, I feel like the... If, if you're watching these videos back-to-back -back during the course of the week, I feel like I had two games in a row where I... Ha or two videos in a row where I catch all the, the high-end stuff of my hand in the opening hand and don't get any of the mid-tier stuff that I need right around this point in time of the game. But we'll see how this goes. So we know he's got a thought... Oh, really? Really? Sure, let's watch him counter that again. At least it gets him out of his hand. At least I can say that much for it. That's disappointing. Okay, so we're getting them out of his hand, at least. Fabled Passes. Let's go for the white on this one so that we can actually start creating 1-1, one -one, so we can actually start blocking some of that stuff at minimum. My goodness. Uh, we're going to go for white mana there. Let's giant kill her. Let's see what happens. I mean, he burned a couple of... He burned a couple of counter spells just in that exchange back there. How many, how many more does he have in his hand? Enough. Enough, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'd like to not get punched in the face. So now we also know that he's out of counter spells. Yeah, no, I'll take the block there for now. Temple Garden. Ah, oh, that can go in tap. That's fine. I want to hold off on casting the, the Loxodons for now. First of all, it's going to get countered, and I'm going to burn all that. And he can't actually counter the tokens. So at least I can keep this in a permanent pit. Not necessarily permanent, but a definitely state of uh, a stalemate for now. Flame sweep. Lovely. Lovely. I guess I'm taking it. Now that does mean that he's down on counter. Like, he doesn't really have a ton to work with on counter magic now. Ugh, and of course I wouldn't get anything good. Why would that happen? So we have to cast a Loxodon bare knuckles by itself that he's going to counter, and that's going to be game. Yep, and that's game. 
Because he's going to have more than enough to get through. And we shall concede. Cool deck. I like that deck. I play that deck often. Can't complain too much against it. It's just frustrating sometimes to play against, as are many control decks. Got a counter burn deck that I, I really want to start working on. I really just want to show off the deck and what it can do. And then you get that one deck that's like, yeah, I'm not going to let you do anything <laughs> today. What, you wanted to play magic? That's not fair. I'm guilty of itself. I like the deck myself, so I can't. I'm not, I'm not disparaging anyone that plays counter decks. I play that particular deck myself. One of my favorite decks from the pre. Oh, what is this the shuffler is doing to me? What is this? That's better. Or is it? Now that I'm really looking at it, is it really better? Is it? Sort of. Yeah, it's kind of okay. I just don't like the idea of <laughs> having to burn Giant Killer to put a body on the board. I, I guess. I guess. Um, Conclave for now. I'm probably going to regret that. So let's go Giant Killer. And then we'll play Mono Red and it'll be fun times for everyone. Ooh, interesting. non mono red Okay, we got lucky there. Again, it's probably Golgari Adventures, which is another cool deck, which I really enjoy. Neat! Ha ha! Ha ha! That is a wasted, wasted... Sure, I'm going to go completely piddly creatures because for some reason my deck does not like me today and doesn't want to do what it's told. Ooh, what did I draw? What did I draw? Duress me again. Come on. Come on. It's all drop card. That's your entire deck. Vicious Rumors. <laughs> oh, drop that. That's fine. I don't need it right now. It is going to stink if he makes me discard Unbreakable Formation there. Burglar Rat. Nope. You can have Fable Fashage. I'm keeping that. Because I'm going to do this. Interesting, huh? How that works out. I think his whole concept is drop card, which is cool. I have that same deck, like that deck. But now I've got creatures. It's interesting how this one's going to work out. I have a distinct feeling I'm losing the Loxodon, by the way, because he's going to draw something here. Midnight Reaper, interesting. Not what I thought we would have cast. So that means we're not losing Lox, which is fun. Come on. Why do we get all these players the last... I, again, I, I think everyone knows this. I record these all basically at the same day. I get all the players that all want to just really drag out their turns. Interesting now. How much thought is there? Murderous Rider. Okay. That's not where I would have gone, by the way.
Because now I'm just going to keep punching you in the face. Shepherd of the Flock would have been better if he had... If he had lifelink too, that would have been awesome. So unless... Well, he's probably going to cast murders. Yeah, he's definitely going to cast murders at this point. Because he needs a blocker. Yep. It's probably the right call. Come on. Come on. Oh, nothing but land. Why would we need anything better than that? So we are going to block that. Swing in. He could, in theory, have in his hand at the moment um, Disfigure, which would take it down to a... He's just gonna... Yep. So slowly but surely we're wheeling him away. Yep, he's just, he's putting bodies on the board right now. He's like, I'm holding all these cards to make you discard cards, and you don't have cards to discard. This makes me sad and unhappy. Pelt Collector! Let's tap that sucker right there, shall we? And swing in. He's going to have plenty of things to block with for a little bit. I could just get another creature. Like, I haven't seen uh, Watley's Raptor yet in two games that we've played so far. Rankle. That'll be interesting. Because you're not going to make me discard. This is the, again, that's the whole thing this is built around. You're not going to make me discard. I have no cards to discard. You could swing in. Hmm. Crazy decisions. What do you do? I'm curious where we're going to go with this. Discard, having him with discard, he may make me pay life to draw a card, which he did. Cool, gets a land out of the way. Wish I had to get something else. Sacrifice a creature. Okay. Does he realize he just died? Because unless he casts a creature, he j just killed himself by sacrificing his own blocker. Okay. I was just gonna say, like, you literally sacrificed your own creature to block. Like, that would have been your blocker. Like, I don't understand that. Like, why would you sacrifice a creature? And that was a huge misplay that cost him the game. Interesting. Okay, cool. Let's get one more game in with this one. Maybe this one will kind of go on curve as opposed to getting all the, the high-end stuff so early in the game. Because it was nice. That's what it was supposed to do. You get Watley's Raptor out. You've got all of the cool stuff in the proliferate. Everything gets bigger. That's what the deck's supposed to do. <sighs> Shuffler, what are you doing to me? All, all right, so this would be a great... This would be a great little curve. If I had any white mana to cast anything that was there. That is such a shame. I'm going to keep that and drop one of the Pelt Collectors and cry. Feverishly. 
That is such a shame. So let's cast a 1-1 critter, shall we? And we shall say hello. Gilded Goose, you say? All right, let's drop that. Let's drop that. Nope. We're good. Legion's End. My goodness. That's okay. We have a beastie coming. Cauldron familiar. Ooh. Ooh. Cauldron familiar, you say. Aww. Oh, it's a sorcery. That'd be why. That would be why. I, for some reason, thought that was an instant and got burned on it. Still don't understand why he blocked with a cat, because now he has no food tokens to actually do what he wanted to do. Come on. What's taking so long, Lazy Bones? I've gotten a whole bunch of these. The last couple of games have all been people that are really taking their time. Assassin's Trophy? Really? Oh, uh, yeah, let's take the forest, shall we? He's creating food. So now he can pull his cat back. That's interesting, but for some reason elected not to do it. And squish. hold off on that. We're going to save that. That is at instant speed, so I can actually save my little love struck beast should I need it. Questing beast. Sure. Indestructible and Vigilance. We'll just keep punching him in the face. Yes, I recognize that I lost the ability to attack with my Love Struck Beast, but I think I'm okay. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to return the Watley's Raptor and do it again and again. Um, nope. I'll take the four damage to kind of have that floating back there. Because there we go, because then we get this. Hmm. 
<laughs> He's like, oh, he's waiting to start doing the math. Like, oh, wait, wait, wait. This gets scary really quick. So, woohoo! There we go. So that's how we're supposed to do it. Two wins on that one. I'm okay with that one. Let me know what you think, though, for Celestia, for Celestia, um Adventures. I'd love to see. I think we did okay. Um, I think that there is some still refining on this one. But that's where we're getting. Like, we're getting late in the season as far as, like, I'm kind of going through like who here's a cool deck i haven't done yet let's try that so if you've got ideas for how you would do your selesnia um adventures deck, let me know in the comments down below like and subscribe right there It'd be super helpful for the channel and until next time guys we shall see you in the arena this video was brought to you in no small part by our patrons if you would like to help out the channel go to www.patreon.com slash old guy gaming mtga and thank you for your support.